Can you feel the help? I can't feel anything, to be honest. <laughs> What's up, Rip? <laughs> What's up? We're back. We're at Panera Bread with Chelsea, and we're trying every single popular menu item that they have. That's soups, salad, flatbreads, sandwiches, tea, cookies, dessert. We have the entire store to ourselves today, so I'm extremely excited. I want this to live up to my high school dreams. Let's see if it does. I am so like glowing happy. I just have such a love for Panera in general, but especially their sandwiches. I need some bread in my body. We're doing the Fratica chicken first. It is a beautiful smoked pulled chicken, tomato, cheddar, oh, some basil in there. Is that some spicy mayo? And their ciabatta bread. Oh my God. I just need a moment. Just one moment. This is what bliss feels like in a bite. I forgot how much I love ciabatta. I always thought I like the sourdough because it's super crunchy, but I love how soft this is. It just like, one second. Oh my God. That red onion in there just popped with the chicken. Oh, is this gonna be my favorite on round one sandwich one? I know I should stop eating because we have more to eat, but this is so delicious. This is the steak and white cheddar and it has red peppers in here and cheese and oh, that toasty, toasty sourdough baguette. If you haven't been to Panera, you're missing out on their sourdough. It is, oh, wait, listen. Oh wait, actually here. Oh. <laughs> oh. This one's super hearty. The pickled red onion makes it so it's super fresh and zesty that goes with the steak. This one's really hearty. I feel like I want to eat it on a very cold winter day in a really baggy sweater near a fireplace. Uh, actually, I think the Fratica chicken's better than the steak and white cheddar. I always thought steak and white cheddar was my favorite. We have a bunch of different iced teas to try each round. First up is their black iced tea. Oh, I like this because it's not super sweet. On the back of their cups, it actually tells you the nutrition information. It compares how much sugar is in this compared to other, other drinks that you would have. Oh, this is a fun fact while we're talking about this. Panera was the first national chain to have the calorie counts on the menu. Not that most of the time I really wanna know, but it's nice to know sometimes. This is a caprese sandwich, and we have it on the ciabatta bread with a buttload of arugula. It's like a salad in a sandwich form. That sounds stupid, doesn't that? I'm tasting some pesto in here. Mm. This one just tastes fresh as heck. I feel like I'm being healthy by eating this. Am I? I'm not sure. We have the Chipotle bacon melt. It smells so salty. You know in the morning when someone else, not you, makes bacon and you wake up and you smell it and you're just like, and you just wake up hungry. That's what the sandwich smells like. This bread is super soft, but has like a crunchy bit to it. It's like nicely toasted. Now that I've completely touched the entire sandwich. I um, have a little. A little flip. Yeah. That's fun. It's mayo. This is like wearing your favorite sweatpants. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Sorry, we can keep moving. Are you blacking out? Our last sandwich is the Bacon Turkey Bravo. I asked you all on Instagram, what were your favorite sandwiches, menu items in general, and the Bacon Turkey Bravo definitely like won the poll besides the Frantica chicken sandwich. So, very excited to have one of y'all's favorite sandwiches. So what we have here, ooh, <laughs> what we have here is a bunch of different bacon. We have cheese, is it Gouda? Gouda, turkey, tomato, lettuce, and that gorgeous chipotle mayo on the bottom. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh. This tastes wholesome. This tastes like a sandwich if your mom loved you or your dad and they made you a sandwich for lunch at school. Why am I tasting fruit? Is this a fruity sandwich? I thought this was some dried tomato. One second. 
it tastes fruity, like a fruity, refreshing sandwich, which, okay, sure. My favorite from this round is definitely the Frontiga chicken sandwich. No doubt about it, no question. The grilled cheese is a really close second if I want something that's super comforting and I'm having a bad day. So, what happened was I ate two whole halves of a sandwich in between round one and round two, which I never ever do. Like I, I usually have my few bites and then I really, really do resist, but I couldn't because I'm so, I was so hungry. I didn't eat dinner, I didn't have breakfast. This is early in the morning. I'm trying to make sense of it all. Anywho, I'm very full and that was stupid of me. We have the margarita and we have the chipotle chicken bacon flatbread. Knowing Chelsea, she's gonna like the margarita the best. Oh, she, yeah. You like simplistic flavors. You like like clean, yeah. easy going. Yeah. I like chaos. Okay, here we go. We got the grape tomatoes, we got the basil, we got the mozz. There's something a little bit zestier in this. I wonder if it's in the tomato sauce. It's just a little bit more peppery than I was expecting, but in a good way. What is this? Like an easy going, almost wants to be a pizza, but not. Like the bread's just a little bit thicker. Almost re reminds me of a pita. Up next, we have the chipotle chicken bacon flatbread. Okay. This is my kind of jam. There's parsley on this, there's bacon. There's a cream sauce on it, and there's fontina. Oof, this is gonna be, this is gonna be my, my winner. I wonder if I went in too high expectations on this one. I think I like the margarita. One more bite. Hmm, this tastes like the Frontiga chicken sandwich on a flatbread. I think I like it better as a sandwich than a flatbread. Something to know is that it comes with two plates because this is two servings. So you and your friend, technically, you could get both and then do a swapsies, you know? Oh wait, no, because then that's four people. That's four people, never mind. <laughs> Math. Math. Green tea time. This green tea is without a doubt my favorite green tea. It basically tastes like a, what, like a kiwi? I can't explain it. It's like this super sugary sweet tea that got me hooked on tea. When I was in high school, my friends and I would get like the biggest cup possible of this and just chug it. It's like a Pacific Cooler Capri Sun as a green tea. I only remember that the names of the Capri Sun flavors because of Lunchables. <gasps> no! <gasps> oh my God, no. Oh shit. We're not gonna talk about it again. That was the time. I am grown now. I have changed, I have developed. However, if I was to add alcohol to anything on the menu, if you could add like a cucumber vodka to the green tea, I think you would have a great time. But I'm not saying that because I'm grown. Up next, we have the Baja bowl. We have avocado, grape tomatoes. We have a cilantro brown rice. We have, is that feta in there and Greek yogurt? Oh, oh, let me, feta. It's like a little bit like a burrito bowl, but then it has the feta and Greek yogurt. Oh yeah, if I don't mix the entire bowl, I like to have every single bite be perfect and equal. And people hate watching me eat salads because I destroy them in the way that I like to mix them around. I just wanna make sure every single bite is the best bite it could possibly be. I love that salsa verde. Mmm. Mmm. I'm having a party. It's perfect. It tastes healthy, but it also tastes good. And that's a confusing thing to me. Last one of this round is the Mediterranean bowl. We have a beautiful, gorgeous Mediterranean bowl here. It comes with hummus. We have a lemon tahini dressing, Greek yogurt, cucumbers, olives, feta. Did I already say feta? Probably already said feta. Brown rice and arugula. Mmm. I think there's quinoa on there. Huh? I probably didn't say the quinoa. That was my fault. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, Chelsea. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. It went back there. It hit the dangly dang thing. This is much smoother 
because of the hummus in here. This one's super comforting. Easy to just like sit here for a while, sit with your friend, drink your green tea. I enjoy this one immensely, but I enjoy this one more. The Baja one has my heart and my soul. I'm so mad I ate so much of the sandwiches because I forgot about bread bowls. I forgot about the most important part of Panera. My eyes are tearing up. We're starting with my favorite soup that I ordered every single time I came, the French onion soup. It tastes like home. It tastes like comfort. I think it's one of the lower calorie soups that you can get. Oh, and it's year round. I wish I had a better way of describing French onion soup, besides saying super oniony, but it's just the right amount of like savory, almost like a chuggable soup if that's a thing. I imagine putting this in a thermos and just carrying it around and wow. eating all of it. It's just wow. beautiful. Up next, we have the wild rice soup, one of my favorite fall soups. It doesn't necessarily look the prettiest on the plate, but it tastes like, oh, it tastes, like a pasta and a soup together. It tastes just like really hearty. Mmm, it is unbelievably creamy. It's almost hard to call this a soup. The chicken, the wild rice, you have carrots in there. I keep smelling it and I'm worried that I'm about to like snort it up. Love it. We have our prickle pear hibiscus tea. I was worried that this was gonna be a sugar bomb to the face. It's super subtle. I definitely taste more hibiscus than pear. It almost reminds me of like a dragon fruit. Damn. So if I was gonna say an alcohol that goes really well with this, there's a dragon berry vodka that would taste great with this. I am not condoning that. I'm just saying if you were to do it, it would taste good. We have a gorgeous chili here. Mmm, look at those beans. That's some hearty stuff there. Ooh, I wasn't prepared for that. I went from like creamy, neutral, homey foods to a hearty, a little bit spicy chili. Like in the back of my throat, it's like cayenne, just went like hit it and I wasn't prepared. A fun fact is that the sourdough bread is one of their like staples on their menu. And before they were called Panera, it was actually called the St. Louis Bread Company. And if you still go to the Paneras in St. Louis, they still say St. Louis Bread Company. It's like the exact same font, wherever it is around here. It's the exact same font and everything. So it looks just like a Panera, and it is a Panera. It just goes under the old name that it used to be. Anywho. Mmm. This one is made for the bread. Oh yeah. I feel like I'm going to a football game. That's what that tastes like. Up next, we have the ever classy, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning, Butternut squash soup. Oh my gosh. If I say that it reminds me of baby food, is that a bad thing? No. Mm -hmm. Does not taste like baby food. Oh, this tastes like a really rich, classy appetizer before Thanksgiving meal or something. It's light yet filling, which I'm very confused by. This one is like a complex layered soup that like a rich, rich person would enjoy. And, and also me, I also enjoy it. <laughs> we have mac and cheese, broccoli cheddar soup, and then the baby of the two, a broccoli cheddar mac and cheese. I asked everyone on my Instagram stories, which one is better? And I got a literal 50-50 response. The bread bowls are so beautiful. Oh, that's another fun fact. Every single bakery has like specific people who make it. So I don't know if you can see, but like this is baked by Tyler today. They employ over 6,000 bakers in America. They make over 250 million bagels a year and 50 million baguettes a year. Oh, oh my God. It's like a cheddar -y. Oh, creamy rich. It's like cheesy glue. My friends and I used to skip class in high school. I would always skip 
I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to say my art teacher's name, but I'm so sorry to my art teacher of senior year of high school. I would skip my fourth period class and go to Panera, and we would order <laughs> bowls of mac and cheese in, in the bread bowls and the green tea, and we would just sit there for hours. We have the broccoli cheddar in a bread bowl, and of course you get it in the bread bowl, and they give you the little, like, stump that comes with it, and whenever you order anything, you get to order a side that comes with it, and that's an apple, chips, and then you can get some of their baguette. Um, the craziest thing to do, which I always do, is I get the bread bowl and I always ask for more bread on the side. If you're gonna do it, you just have to go all out. Okay, we have the broccoli cheddar. Oh, by the way, this is probably one of the most copycatted recipes ever. Even Delish has a copycat recipe of this. That's how much people love this soup. Mm. See, this is hard because this is an actual soup where the mac and cheese is just straight up a pasta with sauce. You know what this is? This is an excuse to eat cheese. That's what a broccoli cheddar is. You feel better about it because there's pieces of broccoli and a little bit of carrot, but you're really just sipping down cheese. Okay, so I don't like to tear it because it gets messy, so I like to pick it up and eat it. <laughs> Please leave me alone in this moment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's just a woman staring outside of me. The best part about it is that you get this super soft, kind of soggy sourdough on the inside, but still really chewy and crusty on the outside. It's, uh, it's a dream. If you haven't had a bread bowl at Panera, I don't, you're not living. <sighs> we just went down a very dark path. I have cleansed my palate. I am now ready to try the broccoli cheddar mac and cheese. So it is the baby of the mac and the broccoli cheddar. I kind of hope it stays true to the mac and just has a little bit of broccoli in it. I don't really want too much of a soupy vibe in my mac. I like this because it's, it looks like it's like a yellow cheddar, but probably still has that white cheddar in there. We got, I see the broccoli, I see the carrots. Still those thick shells. Here we go, here we go. I see that they're marrying it. So the macaroni shells, but then they just made the soup a little bit thicker. I don't know, I think the mac. Ugh. Favorite? It's like a sharp cheddar. This one wins, without a doubt. And sorry to all the broccoli cheddar fans out there. I do agree, it's delicious. The mac is just in its own category, in its own world. I do enjoy the mac and cheese, but I don't know. I think I love them too much separately that combining them for me is actually making it harder for me to understand. Can you feel the help? I can't feel anything, to be honest. Ah! Up first, we have the Fuji apple salad, which is one of my mom's favorite salads. She loves it because there's blue cheese in here, red onion, you have the apple. I think, and there's kale with the, with the spinach. Ooh, no spinach, I'm a liar, just kale. Oh, that's so much, okay. It's good. That's a lot. <laughs> it's super smooth and creamy with the blue cheese, fresh and crunchy with that red onion in there. I taste winter, I do. Oh. Well balanced, honestly. I feel revived. This is the Southwest chili lime salad. Mm. A deconstructed burrito bowl that tastes like, there's no rice in here, so it tastes way fresher and lighter. I think I could still eat the entire thing and feel full. Instead of the tortilla chips, I would want Fritos on top. That would make it amazing. I'm gonna have the blood orange lemonade, which kind of looks like a mango lemonade or a peach lemonade from the color. It's really beautiful. It's like a watered down sweet lemonade. It's not super tart, not super sugary either. That's a gentle blood orange lemonade. Spicy Thai salad. We got some edamame in here. We have some chips. Just kidding, they're wonton chips, not like chip chips, you know. Chicken, romaine, peanut sauce. Did I already say that there's a Thai vinaigrette on there? I don't remember if I did, but it's on there. And it looks like we have some peppers. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. It has a little bit of a tartness with the vinaigrette. If you really like the pad Thais, 
where it has that peanut sauce in there. I think you would really like this as well. Here we have the Asian sesame salad. We have the wonton strips yet again. We have romaine, we have the chicken, we have some almond strips in here, and then we have an Asian sesame vinaigrette. Mm, chicken. I like this one better than that one. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for sesame. I love the flavor of just like toasted sesame on things. It tastes oddly comforting and like home. This one makes me smile. Barbecue chicken salad? When I asked you all favorite menu items, this without a doubt was one of the top. Barbecue chicken salad. This looks beautiful. Mm. This tastes like a complete meal to me. The barbecue is the right amount of sweet, but zesty, but tangy. I really like the beans and the corn in there. It's adding just a little bit more of an oomph to the salad. Mmm. Mmm. This is definitely my favorite salad. If I had a second favorite salad, it would be the Fuji apple. Unless dessert is just teas, I'm not ready for it <laughs> at all. There is no space in my stomach at all, but that's fine. We are powering through with the frozen caramel cold brew. We got some whipped cream on top, some caramel drizzle. Mmm. Sixth grade me would be all over this, wearing sweatpants, pearl necklace on, drinking this. Oh. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like a very specific version of yourself. It's just like a sugary delight, a little bit of caffeine, but mainly just caramel to the face. Okay, we have the chocolate chipper cookie. The great thing about Panera is their bakery. I never was able to really get to the dessert round when I would come to Panera because I would fill up on the bread bowls. So this is probably, yeah, this is the first time I'm having their desserts. Ooh, oh, beautiful. Seems like it's like a brown sugar chocolate cookie. Mm. It has the right amount of chewy, but softness, the chocolate to dough ratio, chef's kiss. Mm-hmm. Glorious. Oh, this one's just called brownie. I was like, I wonder what the name of this is. Just brownie. Look how beautiful it is, though. That's like, am I gonna ruin it? I'm gonna ruin the powdered sugar? It's beautiful. I'm hoping this is super fudgy. It's like a luxurious brownie. It's the type of brownie that gets stuck to your teeth. <laughs> oh no, I made it worse. <laughs> I told you the brownie is so fudgy it gets stuck to your teeth. We are on the last dessert, the kitchen sink cookie. If you've ever had a kitchen sink cookie, it usually means just throwing in all the ingredients that you have from your pantry. I think they're also called like pantry cookies, but sometimes they call it everything but the sink. So everything in your kitchen besides the sink, whatever. Um, so it's usually a really salty, crunchy cookie. Sometimes there's potato chips in there, pretzels. We'll see what they threw in here. Mm, wow, way better than the chocolate chip cookie. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's almost like there's molasses or caramel or mm, butterscotch, maybe? That is amazing. Yep. For the kitchen sink cookie, it is worth saving room. For the chocolate chip cookie or the brownie, if I left Panera without having it, I think I would be okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's wild. That's bonkers. That is worth it. Another fun fact about Panera is that all the bakery items that you see behind me that you can get um, are only in stores for one day and then they donate them to community food banks. I've never felt fuller my entire life than right now in this moment. I can't believe it was Panera that this happened at, but I think it just shows how excited I am about the food. <laughs> Chelsea has so many leftovers to take home, so do I. We're gonna take them home, we're gonna take a really big nap. Let us know where we should go next. Um, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh, sugar. Can I go home? <laughs>